Oh, wow. Look at all that. I don't know how deep that is. Hello everyone. I've been living in Texas throughout this whole entire crisis here. And I just want to go over the tips and the tricks and things that we've learned just by going through all of this, okay? So earlier in the week, it got so cold that the water was able to freeze. So what did we do? We dripped our faucets, we opened our cabinets and did everything right, but it still froze. We woke up in the morning and there was no water running or anything like that. And that caused us to have bursting pipe and water issues, which you'll see here. All right, so we're gonna give you a couple of hot tips and things that we've learned throughout this whole situation that panned out here in Texas. One big major thing with the cold weather, people didn't know to turn off their main water line. So how you do that is with a tool like this. This is uh, the key that will open your main water in front of your house. And this is the wrench, and the wrench will twist the knob so you can completely turn off water flow to the house. So if there's flooding or anything, burst pipes, it won't keep flooding out. In front of the house, this is what the casing will look like, is similar to this. So sometimes they're green plastic or they're like this metal one. Um, you put the key in. Ours doesn't actually fit right now. And then you twist it and pull up on it and it will come out. This part, once you get inside, there's a knob and you just turn it to shut off. Pretty simple, but it's something that could save you a lot if you know it, as opposed to if you don't know what to do and water's coming out of your house. We're melting snow for water. That a whole pot of snow melts to about a quarter of the size in about 30 minutes. Even though this is what's caused all the problems, it's still good to be used for something. It took this container full and multiple pots like this to flush just the toilet. Wow, look at that. 25 minutes to go from full to that. Once, once we start to get a boil here, um, you can actually put the snow in and it melts instantly. The first flush in the past three days. Yay! Thank you, snow water. And this is a whole bathtub full of natural snow water and a couple of other jugs just to flush our toilet and to wash some of the dishes after we boil it. We're not actually drinking this water. Because of the bursting pipe and the water situation here in Texas, unfortunately we don't have any running water now, so that will definitely help with those basic essential needs. Man, at one point in time we didn't have electricity at all for quite a while, and so we ended up eating things like raviolis. Um, I'll put up a picture of my first breakfast throughout this whole thing. We ended up eating tuna, you know, just the basic things like that. Uh, with no power, it really takes a different change on what you're gonna eat and prepare for food. So this is the bag that you're actually gonna be using for the process. 
and we're just setting it up now. We're using some of our masking tape, but you technically can use any type of tape that you have. It will work either way. So you're just gonna set this one bag up. This will be the one that you actually tie up and dispose of once you're done. Make sure you tape it good so that it holds everything and you should be good to go. There's a couple of hot tips that we came up with throughout this whole entire thing because you have to get creative. And this is one of them for when you have to use the restroom. But one of the things I think is really cool is there's another bag underneath and that keeps it from getting this bag wet so you're not pulling out a wet bag. And then once you're done, you go ahead and you can toss it in there. If you have a scented trash bag, of course it'll help, but it's a nice little handy container. And you can use the mask so that it doesn't smell while you're using the restroom. 